Michelle Bachman is not going to get outdone in crazy land. It's just not going to happen. So here's her statements about President Obama. And all the while, the response of this administration has communicated both weakness and lack of resolve to the world. And the top officials seem incredulous, incredulously, apparently convinced that the only way to curtail this crisis is to put a full frontal attack on the free speech rights of American citizens. And what we're watching develop before our eyes today are the direct consequences of this administration's policy of apology and appeasement across the globe. Okay, first of all, there's no attack on free speech. First full frontal. Full frontal. Okay, as JR pointed out. A penetrating out, attack, full yeah. frontal. As JR pointed out early, she loves those things. Oh, there's a deep penetration of Muslims into us. And they're going full frontal on us. Full frontal. Okay, I, all right, Michelle, bring it down, bring it down. No, President Obama, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, everybody said, look, we have freedom of speech in this country. We can't stop the movie. It is what it is. The movie's offensive. There's no question about that, but we're not going to stop it. Mohammed Morsi is asking us to arrest the guy who did. We're not going to do that. And our president doesn't say anything. She just makes things up. I know. Whole scale makes things up. Here she goes again. And as President Obama needs to get his priorities straight, what he needs to do is cancel his interview with David Letterman, cancel his meeting with Beyonce, cancel his meeting with Jay-Z, and instead agree to meet with the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. I gotta say, I'd rather spend a night with Beyonce and Jay-Z than B.B. Netanyahu. Really? <laughs> You're going Beyonce over I, B.B.? I huh? would. That's, I that's would. A surprising. Yeah, look, here's where all, both candidates spend a great majority of their money, at fundraisers. Okay, so it's not like they don't have time. They have time to go to the fundraisers, but it, the Netanyahu issue is not about that. It's about politics of the region and when to meet with them and diplomacy, et cetera, et cetera. But she's going to use any excuse she can to draw them up things. But, you know, she also said in the speech that the real problem was that we spurned Hosni Mubarak. We should have never done that. So there she is. We should have doubled down on hosting. Right. So there she is saying, hey, you know what? We should have been against democracy. We should have been for the dictator. These are the guys who invaded Iraq because they said they believed in the freedom agenda, that if we gave democracy to the Middle East, uh, that that would work, and that that's why they had invaded Iraq, et cetera. Now they're literally saying, you know what? We should have never given them democracy. Obama's big mistake was not supporting the dictator of Mubarak. And by the way, Bachman's not alone. Here comes Sarah Palin. She's going to say something incredibly similar. Let's go to um, clip number six. We have seven. to ask ourselves, and I sure wish that reporters would ask our president, how much longer can we afford to spill our blood and treasure trying to quote unquote promote de democracy in places that do not have uh, any uh, values for a civilized um, societies in order to appease some of these people in some of these places that do not value civilized society. All right. So there she is saying, democracy? We didn't well, mean that. It, Freedom agenda? Of course not. No, no, no. Let's go back to suppressing these guys with dictators. You're also, you're also seeing a, a fantasy idea of what exactly we're putting our money towards. Like, out of these billions of dollars we're getting into Egypt, it must all be going towards democracy stuff. <laughs> Actually, democracy stuff, it's really cheap to fund democracy stuff. It's really expensive to give people guns, bombs, bullets, tanks. Planes, missiles, that, that's what our money goes towards. We're not actually funding democracy movements. And of course, that's not an accident. It's because the defense contractors make yeah. a ton of money off of that. It costs the taxpayers a ton of money, but somebody gets paid. That's why we go in that direction and not the democracy efforts because nobody gets paid off of that. Yeah. And then the final bit of irony here is all these Bachman, Palin, etc., everybody is outraged that uh, they're burning our flags as they you know, tear them down in embassies, etc. And they're like, can you believe the Muslims? They, they're so uncivilized that if you burn their Quran, they get all upset over it and, and, you know, and want to get violent. And then turn, turn around and go, can you believe they're burning our American flag? No. It's time to do something about it.